Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. I've got a viewer question in. The email is entitled, Buying My First Camera. This is from Ramon. Ramon, I hope I'm saying that right. He says, hi Matt, I want to buy my first camera. I want to use it for family trips and to get pictures and videos of my kids while doing sports, wrestling, track, synchronized swimming, baseball. There is an upcoming high school promo in a week of one of my relatives and I would like to take some pictures and videos. 4K is not a must. I think mirrorless are a good option because of the size and looks like the image quality and performance is acceptable. I've been thinking about the Sony a6000, a lot of good reviews on it. Canon Alice SL2 and the Canon M6, good brand and not an old models. Uh, feel free to mention other options and brands. You are the one who knows about cameras. I would appreciate your prompt answer regards. Uh, well, thanks for your question. Um, good selection of cameras you're looking at. Uh, I would rule out the a6000 pretty much right off the bat, simply because if you're used to watching the channel, you'll know that I, I don't like the Sony lens lineup. I think it's a little overpriced. I think it's a little lacking. Well, it is lacking in um, good value, more budget-oriented lenses that don't cost the earth but still perform well. That's my problem with Sony. Really like the bodies, just, you know, like the kit lens that comes with the a6000. I don't like it at all. I would I would upgrade to the... Um, 18 to 135 is it yeah sony 18 to 135 um better lens better all-around lens better range um and you know it's just unfortunate they can't package a decent performing kit lens with it for instance the fuji um you can get the xt20 the xt2 any of the uh, the cameras basically uh, packaged with this beautiful little 18 to 55, 2.8 to 4, which you've heard me rave about before. Build quality is astonishing on this. Optical quality is fantastic. Just there's nothing I do not like about this lens. In fact, it's a stunner of a lens. Probably the best kit lens ever built. Uh, so back to your question, that's why I'd rule out the A6000. The 6000 itself is a very good camera. Um, not so much these days. It's getting old in the tooth for video, but a very good photography camera. If you're okay with the lens lineup and the price and whatnot and what you want to buy for lenses, then okay, you can look at it. But that's why I would rule it out. SL2, one of my favorite cameras, especially for beginners. Uh, I still like shooting with it. I think it's a sleeper in the sense of it's one of the best values on the market. You get that juicy 24 megapixel good performing sensor. Basically, it's a, it's a baby ADD, smaller, lighter ADD. And I really like that. You got dual pixel autofocus. You don't got 4K. That is a caveat. I'm hoping the SL3, when they bring that out, I'm assuming that's what it'll be called, will have 4K. Um, so a great camera. Highly recommend the SL2. Um, the M6, decent camera. I would myself go for the M50. Really like the M50. And I do think you should have 4K in a camera these days. Um, I think even if you're not a big video shooter, it gives you options to pull stills. And that is is a huge thing. If you haven't done it, you got to try it. Um, so between the ones that you've mentioned there, that's what I would look at. The other one I would consider, pretty much in your price range there, is the X-T20 from Fuji. Beautiful little camera. Great 4K. Great 24 megapixel sensor. I love the aesthetics of the camera. Now, that's a personal thing, but a lot of people do. And the Fujis are just beautiful cameras and beautiful lenses. Um, very, very nicely made stuff. Heads and tails above the A6000, this thing is. Uh, what else would I recommend? Nikon, um, kind of hard to go. Um, D7100, I guess. Yeah. Uh, you're going to get it. It's all the goodness almost of the 7200 with a little bit shallower shot buffer. In other words, if you shoot high frame rates, sports and action and maybe birds, you're not going to get quite the speed because the buffer is going to fill up. Um, but the 7100 is essentially, other than that, the same camera as the 72. Great performing sensor. Excellent photography camera. Not the greatest uh, video camera because it's got a fixed screen and it's 1080 but a very good photography camera and available at great prices, especially in refurbs right now. So that's what I would do. That's what I would look at. I would probably lean heavily towards the SL2, the M50, or the 7100 for you in your case, or the X-T20. Really like the X-T20. Get in the store. Get your hands on them. See what you like. You may find you love the X-T20, um, just the fit and finish and the feel and everything, and that pulls it out over everything. Or you may look at the SL2 and say, wow, what a value. And you, you know, get your hands on them too. So that's what I would do. Let me throw it back to our viewers. What do you guys think? Do you agree with me? Which way would you go here? Um, do you disagree? Do you really like the A6000? Let us know in the comments below. Let's help out Ramon. Let's help him make his decision. And uh, it's always great to hear from you guys when people are trying to figure out what to buy here. Uh, thanks for your question. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.